Hey guys, um, today we're going to be unboxing the Mad Cats uh, Street Fighter V Tournament Edition S Plus Arcade Fight Stick and uh, Street Fighter the Steelbook Edition. Street Fighter V the Steelbook Edition. We'll move that out the way just now though while we get to the the big part of the the unboxing. So it comes quite nice packaging information about the controller at the back so the the two big main ones are the uh, TES plus and the TE2 plus um, I went for the S plus just because I like the uh, is it pronounced Shadowlin I don't know the you know um, Bison's um, crime company uh, logo there I really like the design for that and uh, the TE2 plus has like a bit that kind of sticks out there and at the bottom it just and, and the buttons that are here on this one are, are removed a bit but I actually like the more sleek compact um, design of this stick better so I went for that but we'll, we'll get to unboxing this just now yeah. it's a bit awkward because it's so big to get any kind of good angle for it So this, this bit here is just like a kind of slip case that should just slide right off, I'm guessing. And push the handle down and it should just, uh, yeah, slide out. I feel like I've got a sneeze right now, I'm like so sick. Uh, and basically it's just the Mad Cats logo that's on the white box in here. And I think this one is just a case of uh, popping this out as a tape here. I don't think so. I think we are okay just to open that like that. Should just under the stick. Get you guys a close up look at the stick there. So packaged really nicely so that it's uh, really safe there. The thing is, the first thing that I want to see is the weight of the stick. That's what I've been really dying to feel, you know, because The weight is probably going to be like one of the most important things to me, and yeah, it feels it feels very nice. Okay, so let's get the. I'll take everything that's inside the box out. And we'll have a look. Basically, it's just a few foam inserts there, and that are in the box there, and then there was also, and I've got to say, the foam underneath that I'm feeling is is really nice. Um, maybe better to get a little bit of a higher view. Sorry, guys. Let me just adjust this, or I could just bring it forward. But yeah, this is just. Uh, I think that's just instructions. Now let's bring this forward so I can show you all the buttons on this. So um, you've got your regular eight buttons there, Sanwa. Um, joystick feels really nice there. Yeah, square gate. Um, you've got the really nice logo. I just really like this design a lot better. So, let's see if I can. No, it's not going to work. It's going to be out of view. Let's see if I can zoom in because I want to show you guys one of the really cool features about this. Okay, so that's the best I can do just now. So, you've got your PlayStation button here. Um, you've got the touchpad with the Mad Cats kind of scratch logo there. Um, you've got, uh, one second, let me just uh, take this off for a close look at my eyes are really bad. Um, you've got your um, L3 and R3 buttons there. You have also got, yeah, I'm not sure what this one is up here. 
So you've got like a switch to go between like left stick, right stick and then D-pad and then you've got the switch which here is really cool for um, PS3 and PS4 because there's a lot of um, really nice uh, fighting games on the on the uh, PS3 that I still want to go back and play. Oh, gee, we're well out of focus here. But yeah, um, I'll flip this around because something that I'm already noticing which, which is really nice is the foam on the back of this is really nice. It's padded really well. I was um I wasn't gonna buy this, I was gonna buy the 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 alpha stick, um which is about seventy. This is a uh, hundred and sixty um UK pounds. I don't know what that goes for as dollars, but um you know I, I got hands on of that in store because they didn't have any hands on for this one in store, but um the alpha they were kinda they had set up there, you could play it a little bit and um I didn't like it, it felt really it just felt a bit cheap. And you definitely notice the the difference when um just just especially with this the I didn't like uh, the stick on the uh, alpha it felt a bit stiffer than this this kind of you know it's a bit more fluid with the movement um, also I believe we should be able to get in is it here or is it the back oh and on this side you've got your um, Start and select, share, and oh, I thought it was on the. I thought it was actually here where you popped it open, but on this one it looks like it's here. Now, so there you go. The cable and stuff is in there. See that cables there. So yeah, I'm really happy with this. Good weight to it. And why don't we uh, move down a little bit, and we can get to the game, which is the Steelbook Edition. I don't know if this is going to have uh, any extra like uh, character skins or anything with this inside. We'll take it. We'll unbox it and see and have a look. Hopefully, maybe there's some sort of pre-order. Oh, God, kick in. I love the design for uh, the cover of this game. Especially in this kind of metallic material, it looks really cool. So there we go guys, game. Look at the shrink wrapper on the back, this is a slip sleeve. So this will just uh, slide right off. And I don't know if that will pick up on camera, but it's got like a nice metallicness there to it on the back. So let's see if we get any... Um, I already know that the um, case has got a really nice design on the back, so we'll put the disc aside. And we'll see if we actually get um, any cords or anything. Nope. Capcom warranty. Yeah, no, that's a shame. I thought this steel book may have had. Um, there's a look at the design from one of the stages in the game. I thought the steel book may have had like a uh, code for like a special skin or something, just something small, but to make it a bit different. But anyway, I'm so excited to get on and play this. Do you guys want to have a look at the stick there? Really nice design. Feels very nice. 
Anyway guys, that is the unboxing, so thanks for watching and I'll see you at the uh, next video.